This attempt at humor was sponsored by Brilliant. Okay guys, we are going to continue with limits today and although you won't need to know for the test how to construct an epsilon proof for a limit, I'm still going to show you one little example. Um, sorry, what was that noise you just made? Do you mean the word proof? Uh, yeah, there it is again. What is that? Oh, is that the German word for lookup table? It's like an inside joke he does. Oh, that's funny. This teacher's got jokes. Zach, I literally asked for the proof that the square root of 2 is irrational, which we covered in its completeness in class already. And you wrote absolute nonsense. Mm, yeah, wasn't totally paying attention that day. However, I decided to go a different route. Instead of proving that root 2 is irrational, which I mean everyone does, I proved that root 4 is 2. A little proof by calculators, the experts call it. And I think, just to check. Yep, yep, I got that right. So if you could just put a little A by the top of my paper, that would be great. What the actual Zach, for this proof, you simply rewrote my question and put a QED under it? Ah, uh, well, I thought that was trivial and left it as an exercise for the grader. No, it definitely does not work like this. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, yeah. The meme comes alive. So what are the applications of this? How does this affect me? How do I profit from this tomorrow? If this is not going to affect my daily life, I don't know why I'm here. You gotta throw me some applications. 10 real world applications I can use in my life tonight, go. Why are we learning this? What's that symbol on the top left there? X. Okay, great. And what are its applications? Or just like the first 20 that come to mind? Can you repeat everything you just said over the past eight weeks? I didn't catch that. Now, if you really want an A on this exam, you need to show all your work. Don't care. But if you only want to see, then... Okay, now we're talking. You said we could still get to see if we show partial work. So just how partial we talk in here? Um, roughly 70 to 80%. Yeah, that makes sense. Wait, but why would you even try to go for a C in the first place? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? I am not getting this. What are you working on? I'm at, you know, the hardest part of Calc 2 and I, I can't figure this out. Which part? The part where you have to calculate what you need on the final to still pass this class. Now, okay, I think I'm getting somewhere though. Because, all right, quizzes are worth 20% of our grade, right? But he hasn't put in the final two quizzes we took. And he drops your lowest quiz. I just don't know if it's gonna be one of those two. So, okay, okay, you know what, we can run a comparison test. Yeah, compare, yeah, different scenarios, compare different scenarios. So, scenario A, let's say my lowest quiz is not one of those two, all right? So that means it would be quiz number three. Quiz three, okay, so that means we can cancel out quiz three. That's gone, that's gone, okay? And then that gives me an upper and lower bound on the efforts I have to put into studying, right? And then, Okay, we're trying to maximize the final grade to effort ratio. Now, if I can, but he curves the final exam. And that depends on how everyone else does. So if I wanna optimize this, and I have that many unknowns, can you even do that? Dude, dude. I don't see, I, why don't you just use this time to actually study for the exam? Wow, I am not in the mood for jokes right now. Dear Calc 2 gods, please let this final make a little bit of sense. Here we go. What the f is that? Why the hell does everyone look like they know what they're doing? Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Maybe I can know, or would this be? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Holy crap, this curve better be amazing. Everyone just needs to do terrible. Hmm, let's see, how confident does everybody look? Okay, this guy knows what he's doing. I gotta stop him somehow. Dude, what are you I'm doing? I'm so sorry, I'm sorry, I'm such a clutch. 
What the hell? Shh, people are taking a test. Ice on your own paper. Yeah, you keep saying that. Is that required? Is that like an optional thing? Sick. I can see you cheating. Yeah, we'll prove it rigorously. Oh, I think I got it. If I can manage to get eight out of 10 points on this question, then that'll make up for the two points I'll try to BS on this question, and then I'll be good. So, 30 seconds left, you guys. Uh, converges, diverges, diverges, converges, seven, three, pi over four. Like, why don't they just give me my diploma? Hey, if they made a movie about that test, it'd be called Easy A, am I right? Sec, you gotta see. Gotta see the 100% I got? Yeah, no surprise. Yeah, really an F without a curve, but we will chat later. Mm -hmm. Yes, guys, let's get an F in the chat for the curve that I ruined. Good call, professor. All right, now I gotta see this thing. Let me check it out. Or just show me the answer key, you know, same test, am I right? What the fuck? Thank you to Brilliant for sponsoring this video. If you want your next test to go as buttery smooth as that transition, check out Brilliant.org, an educational platform that hosts dozens of courses in math, science, and engineering. For the engineers out there who want to not cry as much in math class, I recommend their advanced math courses including multivariable calculus, differential equations, vector calculus, and more, which cover a range of applied math concepts useful in a variety of fields. What I like is that they teach you the technical information through visual animations and real-world examples as much as possible to make sure you really understand even the more advanced concepts. Additionally, you can inspire others and encourage lifelong learning by gifting a Brilliant Premium subscription. If you'd like to get started right now and support the channel, go to brilliant.org slash major prep and the first 200 people to sign up will get 20% off their annual premium subscription. And with that, I'm going to end that video there. If you guys haven't seen it yet, be sure to check out the Flammable Maths channel where Jens and I did a separate collab slash skit video. Thanks as always to my supporters on Patreon. Social media links are down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.